Um, so if you had the chance to choose from birth, would you still choose to be? Yeah, I would love to be black. Like there may be some downsides to being black um, around the world, but like I feel like being black is something that should become a, be a blessing towards everyone and people who are black. Well, my um, Ghanaian and um, my parents come from there and my grandparents come from there. Uh, my dad is Bayesian. My dad's half Jamaican. Yeah, Sierra Leone. It's like, yeah, Sierra Leone, yeah. I'm from Sierra Leone as well. I'm half Ethiopian and half Jamaican. Uh, my dad is from Namibia and Af South Africa. I'm South African and English. Gambian and English. My parents are from Iraq. So both of my parents are from Africa. Well, my dad's from Ethiopia. My dad is from Cameroon. My parents are from uh, Zimbabwe in Africa, in South Africa. Um, well, my dad is, um, he's from here, but he's mixed race. Well, my dad's half Bayesian, half Jamaican. Uh, I'm from West Africa, a country called Gambia. Both my parents are from there. Um, so most of my family are not. Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. um, my mom's Ghanaian and um, my dad's British. My mum's British, my dad's from the Caribbean. Well, my dad is from Jamaica and Barbados. Uh, Jamaican, uh, bit of uh, Bar Barbados, I've got a bit of Barbados from my nan. Uh, I'm from uh, the Caribbean. My dad's from Cameroon. My mum is from Zimbabwe. My mum's from Jamaica and my dad's from Nigeria. My mum's from Jamaica and my dad's from Antigua. My nan is Jamaican and my mum is American. My mum is from Zimbabwe and my dad is from Zimbabwe as well. Uh, Jamaica and Antigua. And you're in England. Uh -oh. Jamaica. My mum is Namibian and my dad is Angola. Nigeria. And my mum's from Jamaica. Um, I felt like there was the school was not doing enough about Black History Month and I wanted to stand up and say something about the school because from my like two years of three, two, three years of being here, the school hasn't done anything for any of the months I've been here. Uh, it means like supporting what black people have been through over the years, how they've had like loads of racism towards them. Uh, it means a lot to me because I've had a lot of racism in my life. So yeah, it's just powerful and it means a lot. Like we do celebrate it in our family, but we normally will like have like some little get together in our family. We've been oppressed for years, so um, it's nice to have like a month where we can like have remembrance, if you know what I mean, like for all the people that died due to slavery. It means a lot because um, as I'm black as well, um, it's sad how most black people are getting killed for no reason. Oh, it kind of makes me like think about Um, it means a lot, like, and I think it should be talked about more and not brushed under the table. I think of it as like a good time to um, talk about black people and what they've done because they haven't always been treated fairly. If like it's not all just being ignored and it shows that it's like got a like meaning to it, and then I think it means a lot to my dad as well. So I like seeing him like do stuff for that mum. You find out more about your cultures and stuff. Like how they were slaves, like, and treated like objects and stuff like that, like being sold to people. Well, it's really important because it shows what like the past was for black people. And um, yeah, it's just really important. Uh, I think it's really important for people to know what black people have been through in the past. I think people should be more educated about it in general because not a lot of people know. Well, like when you go in, as your black culture, you go and celebrate, like, and the couple come together as your black, black history. Um, it means, like, about celebrating the black culture and things like that. We get to celebrate our culture and everything that we've done and everything that we've been through.
um, where black lives can actually matter. It's good because people are now like stepping up and speaking out Some, from their past. Something to be proud of. Yeah. And it's about like praising them and like getting to know things that we didn't know before. Do you think Black History Month is important? Yeah, very. Because it like makes people realise that black people are there. Think we'll be able to move towards a future where there's no racism? No. Why not? Because there's too many people in this world um, that don't like black people. Like talk about because certain people don't see like the racism as like racism. If you know what I mean? Like. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of racist like undertones in what people say, but like they don't know that they're being racist, like just maybe do more like awareness about it. Yeah. Do a bit more things like I guess have more assemblies or things or like more posters or talk about it a bit more. More rather than just like in history about slavery, maybe talk about positive things that have happened. Stop it and make um basically make the school a better place if they didn't have it because it will make black students feel better about themselves. It hurts not more when people are racist to you because you just know, you know where that's coming from, you know how it feels and it doesn't feel nice at all. Yeah, it hasn't really affected me, but like people are like, want you to act a certain way. Um, like, I don't know, they, they want you to act more like, like fighting and stuff. You know? Maybe like, tell students to be aware of like racism and like what it means to like other people who've experienced it and stuff. Do you think school has, does enough at the moment? I don't think so. There has been some racism, I can't lie, and uh, I don't know what they could do about it really, but yeah, it's just there. Sit down with the people of colour in the school and ask them what their issues are and ask them what can be changed. Yeah, I think they should ask more whether students in the school have been like had like racism towards them more often and stuff like that. Like in this school, when the student says the racist joke, you're expected to just laugh it off. But if you'd be like, oh, I'm going to report you in that, or if you say, oh, I feel offended, they would just make fun of you. And I feel like when teachers hear it, they would just be like, yeah, don't do it again. And just wouldn't really follow it up. Investigate it more, because they don't really investigate it that much. Like. There's not, like, in the school, like, before the new head teacher came, there was loads of racism. Yeah. It's gone down, like, loads. But before, it used to be, like, a lot, but now it's just stopped, isn't it? They took actions more serious, which is good. Because before, people used to think it was funny. Yeah, and it goes on your record, isn't it? And I feel like you should be happy with what race you are, no matter black or white or mixed or whatever type of race you are. You said about a little bit about there's been a little bit of racism and things. Yeah. Can you think of any examples? Um, it was a long time ago. Yeah, I can. But yeah, I can think of examples. You don't want to talk about it? Oh, no, no, it's fine. Well, you can if you want to. No, it's good. No. There has been quite a bit of bullying in my life. Um, it's also been hard. Because there is a lot of racist people out there, and like um, my mom's always trying to be real. Sh I'm really strong to like get get us through this. Yeah. What kinds of things do you feel like you have to be aware of? Um, like people going up to you and being racist towards you. Not just at not at school, but like outside of school. It's quite upsetting, but. I guess you just have to live with it. Stormzy, Dave, uh, because they write about racism and yeah. yeah. Raheem Sterling has done a lot for um, black people. 
yeah, he hasn't let people being racist to him um, make him quit football like it has to some other people. Nelson Mandela, because he really stood up for black people in when there was racism happening back then. I think definitely Martin Luther King was I have a dream speech. Yeah. He proved he can do a lot of things with just peace. He stood up when no one else would. The way he stood up against racism was smart. He used words instead of physical fighting. The main one's Rosa Parks because she didn't really let anyone push her about when she was on the bus and she stood for herself and stood for her rights. She's just, yeah, she's my kind of like hero. Because <laughs> she like stood out and like, um, she like represented what Black's all about. Malcolm X and um, Martin Luther King. Because what they did uh, in America to uh, change the way people thought about black people, um, they made a really good effect on you know people's views of black people. They stood up from segregation and they stood up for racism. And I thought, well, they are just, m many people black heroes because they just do so much for the black culture and stuff. Yeah, probably, probably my mum. She's always like very honest. It doesn't matter like how bad it would be. And when she has a problem, she knows she can rely on her friends because she knows that her friends can rely on her as well. Will Smith, sort of, because uh, he's achieved a lot. Like he's gone from being someone in America just like really poor and stuff like that, and then gone to like a like, a really famous like movie star. Chad McBoden, he's just strong and he makes me feel strong about myself since, he, he, since he's kind of like me. Nadine hey, Asher Smith and Usain Bolt because um, I'm quite a sporty person so I watch them quite a lot. I think they've come a long way from where they started off. I'd say Anthony Joshua because uh, I don't know, he's just my black, uh, he's just, you know, he's just my um, person I look up to, man. Um, you despise people and like you can do whatever you want if you like believe in yourself. Um, Beyonce, because like, you know, she's just Beyonce. <laughs> Michael Jackson, because he wasn't afraid to be who he, like, he actually was and he was just out there who he was. Maybe the football player Michael Freshman, because recently he's helped children through um, the um, pandemic. Like help him have food and stuff. Because like it's been harder for him growing up as well, he was saying. Like and all that he's accomplished. He did a lot even though no one really who's like stood out from the crowd and did something to help like, the whole world. I'm proud of who I am and uh I don't really you know, black, white, mixed race, I'm doesn't matter. Everyone's equal. <laughs>